where Adonis stood was a place in which Enos and Beliar had no power. Adonis be with you. Who are you? I am Vatris, a servant of Adonis, the guardian of the divine and earthly equilibrium. What can I do for you? Tell me about the gods. What exactly would you like to know? Tell me about Adonos. Adonos is the god of the center. He is the scales of justice and guardian of the balance between Inos and Beliar. He commands the power of change. His gift is the water in all the oceans, rivers, and lakes. His priests are the water mages, just as I am a servant and priest of Adonos. Tell me about Beliar. Beliar is the dark god of death, destruction, and all things unnatural. He is in eternal battle with Inos, but Adonos guards the balance between the two. Only a few humans follow the call of Beliar. However, he grants great strength to those who do. Tell me about Inos. Very well. Inos is the first and highest god. He created the sun and the world. He commands light and fire, his gifts to humanity. He is law and justice. His priests are the magicians of fire. The paladins are his warriors. Can you heal me? You do not require healing magic at this time. Can you teach me something about magic? Only the Chosen of Innos and the Chosen of Adonis are permitted to work rune magic. But common mortals can also work magic with the help of spell scrolls. I can show you how you can channel and expand your magic powers. I want to increase my magic powers. Tell me about the Ring of Water. And why would I do that? Cavalorn sent me to you. And what did he tell you? He said, you're in dire need of more good people. So, you want to join us, son? I want to join the Ring of Water. You do? Well, that means you have already fulfilled the first requirement. What do you mean by that? I mean there must be someone among us who trusts you. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know about it. But I know nothing about you at all. What do you want to know? Well, you could tell me where you come from and why you have come to the city. I carry an important message for the leader of the Paladins. What is this message? A large army is gathering as we talk, led by dragons and determined to conquer the country. Dragons? You speak of beings which until now have only been mentioned in legends. How do you know this? Zardas, the magician, told me. He sent me to warn the paladins. The necromancer? So he lives, and he sent you. Who are you really? I'm a former convict from the penal colony of Carinus. Good. Let us summarize. You are a former prisoner who has been told by Zardas, the necromancer, that dragons have come to conquer the country. And you have come to report this to the Paladins. That all sounds rather fantastic, but I cannot perceive that you are lying to me. Therefore, I must assume that your motives are honorable. I want to give you a chance to join the Ring of Water.
what must I do in order to join the ring? Know that you take on great responsibility by joining the ring. I do not let just anyone join who comes to us and asks. If you want to join the ring, you will have to prove that you act like one of us. And that means... Before we let a young man join our ranks, he must have done a great deed for the ring. Only then can I begin to consider letting you help preserve the balance of forces on this island. I have vanquished the sleeper. Isn't that a great enough deed? My ears hear many a tale these days, including the story about the banning of the beast called the Sleeper. I have not heard that this was achieved by a single man, although your eyes tell me that you are convinced you did this. That confuses me slightly, but I cannot be sure that my senses might not deceive me sometimes. I have freed many people. The barrier is gone. Even if you can really claim responsibility for that, the great event in the Valley of Mines has not only set free the water mages and other upright citizens. All the criminals of the entire country are roaming Corinus these days, harassing the population. The bandits have already taken over large areas of land outside the city. It has become all but impossible to leave the town and return unharmed. So what would be an appropriate deed that might convince you? Corinus is facing a great enigma these days. The number of people missing from the town seems to increase almost daily. If you can explain to me what happened to them, you shall have your place within the Ring of Water. However, Yes? You should take your message to the Paladins first. I consider it a matter of utmost importance. Talk to Lord Hagen. But Lord Hagen is not going to receive me. Yes, he will, no doubt about it, provided you become a member of a powerful community first. The Ring has far-reaching connections. We shall assist you in conveying your message as soon as possible. You should talk about this to Laris, whom I trust. He will help you. What community should I join? There are only three communities that have enough influence. These are the City Militia, the Monastery of the Fire Magicians, and the troop of mercenaries on the landowner's farm. The choice is yours, son. Laris can certainly assist you with this difficult decision. Talk to him about it. I shall do that. Tell me about the Ring of Water. Since you are not yet a member of our community, I cannot tell you everything, of course. But I shall tell you what I may. I won't ever think from now on. Who are the members of the Ring of Water, then? I cannot tell you that until you join the Ring. But you will certainly have met some of them by that time. Where are the other water mages? They are exploring the ruins of an old culture northeast of Corinthus. We suspect that those ruins might contain a passage to a part of the island which is as yet uncharted. Tell me more about that uncharted area. If you're interested in joining the expedition, I could send you to Satyrus with a letter. You can only participate, of course, as long as you're one of us. Of course. What exactly is it that you do? We stand between the Order of Innos and the Chaos of Beliar. If one of the two sides should gain the upper hand, it will mean either total loss of freedom or deadly chaos. Therefore, we guard the balance between the two. That's what makes life in this world possible for all. And what does that mean in concrete terms? The fall of the barrier has evoked numerous threats. The bandits are probably the most obvious one. 
Not only has it become all but impossible to travel the island without being attacked, there's someone in town, too, who supports the bandits. We have found out that the bandits receive regular deliveries from a weapons merchant in Corinus. We try to find such people and keep them from endangering the city. If you can find out anything about this, let me know. Here, I've got a letter for you. For me? Indeed. This is an important message you're bringing me. I wonder how you got hold of this letter. Do you really believe that? I got it from Cavalorn, the hunter. Cavalorn? Where is he? He told me to tell you he couldn't make it and is headed for the meeting point. Whatever he meant by that. I see that you have gained Cavalorn's trust. That speaks in your favor. Things I could tell you. That doesn't amaze me. It was just his decision, wasn't it? Wait! If you see Laris, give him this ornament and tell him that it needs to be returned. He'll know what to do with it. Customer, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a room. Ah, you're in the right place then. One of the paladins told me that I could spend the night here for free. Yes, yes. Just go up the stairs. We still have one or two beds free. Why do the paladins pay for everything? I don't know what that's all about either. For one thing, I think they want to get all the poor suckers off the streets so they don't make any mischief. And for another, they want to get on the good side of the traveling traders. Now that the farmers are rebelling, we have to rely on the traders for provisions. Besides, I think they want to improve the morale in the city a bit. Lord Andre has even arranged for free beer to be given out at the Gala Square. Who's staying here at the moment? Almost all of them are traveling traders from the market. Aha! Don't even think about messing with their stuff. I don't want any trouble here. I have a few questions about the city. Tell me about the town. Corinus is one of the wealthiest cities within the kingdom, even if it doesn't look like it at the moment. But since the Orc War started, trade has almost come to a complete standstill. The king has requisitioned the entire merchant fleet for military service, which means that hardly any ships come into the harbor now. So, the supply of goods is very scarce now, and many citizens of the town are very worried. Nobody really knows what the future will bring. There's basically nothing we can do but wait and see what happens. It's not like we can change anything. Where can I buy something around here? The market is directly in front of the door. You should be able to find everything there. There are a few more shops and craftsmen on the other side of town. Most of them are near the other city gate. Also, there's a fishmonger in the harbor district. His shop is right at the harbor. He's easy to find.
never knew that. I must be crazy. What are you doing here? That doesn't surprise Hey, Laris, you old scoundrel. How did you get here? I was able to escape to the Valley of Mines just in time, together with Lee and some of the other boys. You remember Lee, don't you? Of course I remember Lee. I got out of the colony with him then, just after the barrier was destroyed. He and his boys are now on the farm of Onar, the landowner. He made a deal with the farmer. He and his boys defend the farm, and Onar feeds them in return. It's not what I heard. It's gonna get even worse. Tell me more about Lee and his mercenaries. What do you want to know? How do I find the landowner's farm? It's quite simple. You leave the seaport by the east gate and then follow the path towards the east. I can take you there if you want. Why aren't you with Lee and his mercenaries? But I am, just not on the farm. You could say I'm our outpost in the city. We don't want the ship to sail without us. What ship were you talking about? It's on the open sea harbor, behind the cliffs. Lee and a few of his people really want to get away from here. But that could take a while. Why? You'd better ask Lee about that. If you meet him, he's got plans. I'm not telling you anything new. Tell me more about the mercenaries. Well, if you're as tough as you were back then, you shouldn't have any problems with them. Most of them are ruffians, and if you can't stand up to them, you won't get far. <laughs> if you're squeamish, you don't have a chance of joining them. Do you really think? Can you teach me something? Sure. I can help you become stronger and more dexterous if you like. Teach me something. Good. Your strength has increased. Really? How interesting. I must talk to the paladins by any means. What do you want from them? They've got a powerful amulet, the Eye of Inos. I must have it. And you think they'll give it to you? You'll never get into the upper end of town. I'll find a way somehow. Sure. If you want to ingratiate yourself with the citizens or play errand boy for the militia. Do you know why the paladins are here? Nobody knows for sure. Lots of people think it's because of the orcs, but I think there's another reason. It probably has something to do with the old penal colony. Vatra sent me. He told me to come to you when I needed help. So you've already been to see Vatras? You must have made a lasting impression on him. Otherwise, he certainly wouldn't have volunteered my name. Especially not since the matter with those missing people still hasn't been resolved. Tell me what you need. Vatras gave me this ornament to bring to you. He said it is to be taken back. Of course. It's up to me, as usual. I might have known. I'll have to walk halfway across the island to take it back to the water mages. I can take the ornament there for you. Hmm. I think I had better take it there myself. But you could come with me. Only, I can't leave here at the moment. I need to keep an eye on the harbor. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? I can't talk about that. Vatras would have my head. I need your help. And what exactly were you thinking of? I need a better weapon. There's nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. Have you tried the marketplace? What about some better armor? 
Hmm. Mateo sells armor, but he'll probably charge you an arm and a leg for it. There is a way you can get it cheaper, though, if you don't mind pulling a fast one on the militia. What do you mean? There's a storage area next to Mateo's house, but all the merchandise has been confiscated by the militia. Go to Zurus at the marketplace and get yourself a sleeping spell. Then you send the guards off to Dreamland. I'm sure you'll find some decent armor among Mateo's stuff. I need some money. Don't we all? Sorry, but I have none to give you. But Lamar, the moneylender, still owes me a favor. Go to him and borrow whatever money you need. I'll take care of the rest. You'll find Lamar in the Harbor District, where it borders on the lower part of town. So what's your business with Vatras? I've got this little agreement with the water mages, you see. What kind of an agreement? We work for them, and they see to it that our past in the penal colony doesn't get us into trouble. You're talking about the Ring of Water? You've heard of it? Vatras told me about it. You might have mentioned that right away. That's terrible. That's exactly what I said. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? I'm doing what we all do. I fulfill the tasks the water mages give me. Some of the missing people were fishermen. They disappeared along with their boats. That's why I'm standing here, watching the harbor. Maybe something will happen yet, but you could help me. Listen, I shall give you my aquamarine ring. It signifies that the bearer belongs to the ring of water. If you wear my ring, the rest of us will know that you're acting on my behalf. Get someone to take over my duties so that I can take the ornament back. One of us is always keeping an eye on the marketplace, but I don't know whose turn it is. You had better go talk to all those standing around there. Once the right man sees my aquamarine ring on you, he will let you know. Tell him to see to it that somebody else takes over here at the harbor. Tell me more about the Ring of Water. The Ring is to the Water Mages what the Paladins are to the Fire Magicians. But, unlike the Paladins, we operate in the background. The Ring is a mighty weapon in the battle against the dangers that threaten the people of Corinus. But this only works as long as we keep the identity of all those secret who belong to the Ring of Water. So keep this to yourself. Sure. I want to join the Ring of Water. That's fine with me, but the decision about whether you will be accepted or not lies with the Water Mages alone. What did you do to impress the Water Mages? I protected them for a long time when we were still living with the barrier, and they have plenty of reason to be grateful to me. What's it like to belong to the Ring? We are very different from the usual communities you can join here in Corinus. Once you're one of us, we're not going to ask anything of you that you are not ready to do. The only thing we truly require of you is to keep quiet. We work in secret and do not want to let outsiders know who our members are. We shall keep an eye on you. Everything else remains to be seen. I see. I wanted to have a look around here. Then uh, where exactly are you headed? Honestly, I witnessed it myself. What interesting things are there to see here? That's terrible. There's uh, a cat house here in a tavern. Really? How interesting. The landlord's name is Kardef. If it's information you want, he'll be the right person to talk to. Do you uh, need money, by the way? 
Who says things like that? Are you giving it away? No, but right across the street here is the uh, house of Lamar, the money lender. I'm sure he'll give you a few gold pieces. Just go ahead. And he works all day, too. Do you work for Lamar? Mm, smart kid. That's what I've Actually, I was on my way to the upper quarter. <laughs> yeah, right. And I was about to board a ship and have it take me to the king for an audience. People like you and me haven't been allowed in the upper quarter since the paladins came. He can't keep anything to himself. Are you a citizen of this town? If you mean do I live here, yeah. But still they won't let me into the upper quarter. Mm, only the Toths can get in there are the merchants and craftsmen from the lower end of town. The people from the harbor district don't carry much weight in Corinth. There isn't even a regular militia patrol down here. Has anything exciting happened lately? Not long ago, the city guards turned the entire harbor district upside down. They were searching for stolen property. <laughs> There have been plenty of thefts here lately, especially in the better quarters. They're obviously trying to blame the poor suckers at the harbor for everything. Don't say. That's not what my husband thinks. That's an open secret. How's it going? How much do you want? What do you mean, how much? I'm the money lender, and you came to me. What could you want from me? Money, of course. Well, lend me some money. Sure, how much would you like? I charge 20%. 1,000 gold coins. You got a couple of screws loose or something? I'll give you 100. And don't forget, I want it back tomorrow. You always throw your money at people like that? Don't worry, you'll be back. Otherwise, I'll find you and kill you. It's that simple. You've got such a distinctive mug that it wouldn't take long for me to find you. So don't even think about playing around with me. Order and chaos were equals, and so the sea was created. And the sea released the land, and there arose war. That's what I've always said. That's not what I heard. Why are you looking so doubtful? I see that you bear the sign of the Ring of Water. So, are you a member too? What if I am? Then I would tell you that Lares wants to be relieved from his post down at the harbor. Fine, if that's so, I'll see to it that somebody deals with it. I see. That's not what I heard. Show me your wares.
Hey, you! That's an open secret. I have talked to Baltram. He will find someone to relieve you. Ah, very good. Then we can finally leave here. You had better so keep my aquamarine ring for now. I assume it will come in handy for you until you get your own. I'll tell her thing. That's terrible. I haven't seen her in my eyes. Who says things like that? No, that's terrible, is it? He'd better shut up. Simply talks to you. It's all just gossip. Hey! I gave Vatras your letter. I didn't expect anything else. Thanks. <laughs> 